my take on policing in Nigeria is at variance with the position of a lot of people who are agitating for state police. The state police architecture, I can tell you with the way politicians in Nigeria, in Nigeria think, will be a tool in the hands of the state governors to kill and maim those who are opposed to their type of politics. I think we should go a little further to put emotion into policing and providing security for our people by taking it down to the community level. Let every city, every town and village own its own police. Yes, then let the government at the center pay for it, but without them controlling anything about the chain of command or command and control infra infrastructure. I believe that when we put that grassroots emotion into policing, knowing that they are there to protest, protect, protect the interest of community members, they will do a great job without politics because they will see crime exactly the way it is and prosecute it according to the laws of the land without making any mistakes or without creating situations that we make it look like it's being politicized. I believe that is it. We must put emotion into doing the work of providing security of life and property. That is where I believe we should go. And that's what is taking place here in the United States. Every little town has its own police and everybody knows everybody. So when they see anything strange, they are quick to catch it. So I am not a student of the state policing system. Yes, the only time I will accept uh, that layer of policing is maybe perhaps on the state freeways. Yes, that is fine. We have that, the troopers, like we have that in uh, Texas here and states across the United States. They, they are on the road doing uh, road enforcement. That is fine. But uh, policing, policing, policing to catch criminals, should never, should never be left in the hands of state governors or local government chairmen and all that. It should be brought straight to the grassroots where the people will see them and they will appreciate them. The only thing that they need is to be better equipped. And then the recruiting will be better done because everybody knows everybody. And from there, you know, a criminal cannot, will not be recruited into uh, a community police outfit because we all know who we are. I think uh, that's the best way to go.